In a battle of top 10 teams, the Yukon Huskies kept their undefeated season alive by beating the number eight Notre Dame Fighting Irish two to one here at Moroni Stadium. Like all the guys stepped up, you know, and all the guys played, you know, second half was a little bit sloppier, but at the end of the day, we got the result we wanted. You know, Tony's a great team, uh, great program. They, they, always, they have some fantastic players. Uh, they have great team chemistry, so it was uh, definitely a, a rough battle against them, always. Well, we won, we got three points. That's important, but we got to play better. UConn's win came on the back of perhaps their strongest Husky, Andre Blake. Blake made six highlight reel saves throughout the night, and the lone goal scored against him was the first goal he's allowed in five games. Big time saves today, play great, you know, to get a goal, bad defending. He's a big time goalkeeper and anytime, you know, I trust the guy behind, you know, uh, he's a big factor in our team and I'm thankful to have him in my team, so that's the good thing. When UConn's leading scorer, Mamadou Diouf, went down with an injury in the first half, senior captain Carlos Alvarez took charge on offense and netted a penalty kick for his fifth goal of the year. We train in practice, me and Dudu, at who's ever in the game, who feels more comfortable, will put it in, and he wasn't in the game, so it's my responsibility, and I put him behind the net. That's the most important thing. Carlos steps up every game. You know, Mamadou will be fine. He'll be back for Georgetown, but Carlos steps up every game. He's a big-time player. In the sense, I, I always have to be stepping up, you know, and, like, it's my responsibility. It's my team, and you know what? I'll do anything for the team. I'll sacrifice. If I had to sacrifice my body, I'll do it. Senior defenseman Flo Lu also helped out on offense, scoring his first career goal off an assist from Alvarez. I won, uh, won a 50-50 at the midfield, and uh, the ball went to Orlando. Orlando did a great job holding off the ball between uh, three defenders, and uh, she slipped the ball through Carlos, who was run, making it run into the box. And uh, I was hoping the ball would get to me somehow, and uh, fortunately it did. So all I did was just had to bury it. Saturday's win over the Fighting Irish marks the second straight sellout crowd here at Moroni Stadium, and the first of three consecutive top 10 matchups for the Huskies. UConn's next game will be down in DC to take on the number 10 ranked Georgetown Hoyas, then they will hit the road again to face number 10 Marquette. Uh, it, it definitely is a very competitive conference, so every game is very important. And, uh, but now we have the momentum going to Georgetown, and uh, that's all we're looking at the next game. So far, we got two with them, so we did what we had to do at home. Now we got to take care of business on the road, so we'll see. Georgetown's a very good team. With Saturday's win over the Irish, UConn improved to 2-0 in Big East play and notched their 32nd consecutive home win. For Huskies All Access, I'm Matt Tierney.